So it is 95 degrees today. I am currently on a hike back from recording a little YouTube video. And for some reason, I thought now is the perfect time to record a little vlog. So let's talk. The other day I received a really interesting comment in response to a vlog I put up on Patreon. I do these monthly vlogs on Patreon for anyone who pledges a dollar or more to support my content. And in the one I did for July of 2023, I talked a bit about my desire to improve as a content creator. Specifically, I wanna become a better writer. I wanna become better at editing. And I also wanna see if I can improve in my ability to speak to a camera, My tone, narration, all that, all that jazz. Now, in the video I mentioned I might work on some small independent projects that maybe I'll just choose to release to my patrons, to all of the backers that give me money. <laughs> and in response to this, a person asked a question in a direct message that I'll put most of it up on screen right now, where essentially this message asks, why would I choose to restrict the content that I post? I should not just put high quality documentaries out onto YouTube. I should really work on putting everything that I can out because in that way, my viewers and people that stumble across me will be able to see the growth that I have as a creator as time goes on. And this is a really interesting question, one I've been thinking about for a couple of days and a, I think uh, it, it deserves an extended response. So let's go ahead and do that. For a really long time, my favorite content producers, my favorite content creators I enjoyed watching, were generally people that did what this commenter suggested, people that uploaded every single day. In fact, if I had to pick, I would say two of my favorite content creators of all time were streamers, Reckful and Mitch Jones, who, I mean, they were streamers. They streamed every single day, normally. <laughs> they uploaded themselves in a very raw and intimate form, and like the commenter suggested, I got to see these individuals' growth as time went on, which was a really enjoyable and crazy experience as a viewer, seeing these individuals grow as people. But a couple of years ago, I discovered some other content creators that forever changed the way I looked at making videos myself. It was maybe six, seven, maybe eight years ago now that I discovered Summoning Salt, who makes speedrun documentaries on YouTube. John Boys, a writer for SB Nation, which is now called Secret Base, makes sports documentaries. And M. Plemon, a guy that makes all sorts of high quality videos, normally documentary type projects that you can see released to his YouTube channel maybe six times a year. And these three creators kind of taught me something very interesting, which is that an idea is oftentimes only as interesting as you present it. So let me give you a little example of what I'm talking about. My favorite League of Legends player of all time is Khan. And I've always loved making story-based content in the world of League of Legends. So if I wanted to, I could sit down and just turn on a camera like this and speak to you guys and talk to you about what made Khan such an interesting character in League. I could talk about my own personal journey and discovering his his play in watching the 2017 summer Korean Grand Finals where Longju beat SK Telecom and Faker for the first time ever. SKT lost to Grand Finals in LCK. I could talk about how Khan was this really impressive player that was the guy who led to a lot of that success and further changed how a lot of people viewed League of Legends where they no longer looked at the competitive scene as a place where you just sit back and play passively trying to avoid mistakes, but we then saw players like The Shy and players like Keen, all sorts of players come along who started to really work hard on being aggressive, proactive playmakers just as much as they tried to avoid mistakes. And making this kind of video might be something that my viewers really enjoy, people who are subscribed to my YouTube channel. However, if that's all I were to do, is just make this kind of personal, intimate vlog, then people might enjoy it, but there might be a lot of people who don't know me who discover the video who can't get into it. People that wouldn't want to just sit down and watch me speak into a camera for an hour or however long it ends up being. People who would get bored by that. People who want to see 
more mental stimulation, more visuals, more music or something. And most importantly, there might be a lot of people out there who could really enjoy this story, but who wouldn't be able to connect emotionally if I present the story in such a casual way. You can see I'm making more cuts in this video now because I'm getting really tired and really sweaty and it's hard to keep speaking into the camera. But anyway, so <laughs> this, is a, this is something I, I noticed that was kind of interesting, which is that the better an idea has presentation surrounding it, the more emotion, the, the more of an emotional connection you can make with an audience. You know, if I were to just tell you the story of Khan, some people might enjoy it, but if I dress it up as a big documentary, then that might be something that not only could you enjoy it, but you might be able to feel the kind of emotion that I felt watching Khan's career live. I might be able to transport you back to the 2017 LCK Grand Finals if I dress up this story with enough frills and get you to feel emotions that you otherwise would not be able to experience. This is a really powerful idea that forever changed how I view producing content because ever since I learned about this sort of idea, ever since I started thinking about it, I started thinking, why not dress all my content up to be as impactful as it can be? If I want to play League of Legends for the first time after two years, I don't need to just turn on a camera and record it. I can put some thought into that. I can put some planning into it. I can you know, not scripted, obviously, because you can't script the game or the events that happen, but I can work for a month on that video and try to make it something that is way more entertaining than the gen general League of Legends sit down and react to gameplay that everybody else does. And even beyond that, I can, I don't know, if I have a vlog, if I have a personal experience I want to share with people, the, the more I try to put effort into the editing and the music and the scripting or the, the narrative beats or whatever, the more I try to structure things to be as good as they can possibly be, the more I'll be able to resonate with people. That's kind of the answer to why I don't upload as much on GBay99 anymore. I really want to make sure that if I have an idea that's good enough for a YouTube video, I want that to be presented in, I don't know, such an exciting way that even if you're someone that just finds the video through your recommended feed, and even if you've never heard of me before, you're not invested in my personal story, my personal brand, <laughs> I want you to still be able to enjoy it just as much. And that's the one thing that I think daily uploading or vlogging suffers from. If I'm someone who just wants to record myself speaking into a camera, I'll entertain the audience I have who does care about me and wants to hear the things I have to say, but I might not be able to capture a wider audience. There might be some people who stumble across the video who've never heard of me and who get turned off by not being able to connect to the things I'm saying or what I'm discussing. And so that's kind of the idea of putting more effort into projects. I enjoy making daily vlogs. I enjoy going on these walks. I enjoy doing things that are much more casual and give my longtime viewers a intimate look into my life and what's going on with me. But I don't want that to be someone's discovery of who I am. I want them to see the best of the best. I want them to see whatever peak of content I can make right now. And I like to think that if someone really does care enough about me to not just watch the main channel stuff, but to go out and look if I have a second channel called GBay100 or <laughs> see if I do any exclusive content on Patreon, then that would be the kind of person who is already seeing these kinds of exclusive hidden videos. And I don't want to pollute my main channel with uploading whatever, whatever the hell comes into my mind. I want to make sure that the content I release there is good enough that no matter who it is that's watching it, we'll always find it and always enjoy it, find it really interesting, really exciting, and really enjoyable to a point where they subscribe. So that's kind of the answer to why I choose to do things the way that I do and why I might want to make some exclusive content for patrons or why I might want to, if I choose to make more experimental frequent content, upload it to GBay100 rather than GBay99 because I think there's value in choosing what you show to your audience. I remember hearing 
I think it was CGP Grey, some other YouTuber, say that if you're doing a video on a subject, you should know much more than you tell. If you're doing a video on history that's 10 minutes discussing Napoleon or something, you should have way more information in your head and your ability to explain it compared to what you actually choose to show. That's a, that's a sign of a, of a good video, of a good piece of uh, entertainment, I guess. And that's sort of the approach I've taken in my content over the years. I think that there's a lot of, there is a lot of value in being a daily vlogger, someone that has a very intimate connection with their audience, but I don't want that to be the front-facing part of my own personal brand or whatever. I want this to be this channel, my, my videos, GBay99. I want to see if I can really curate the stuff that I put out for everyone to be the best of the best. And I hope anyone that's interested in my personal life, my opinions or thoughts or adventures going on sweaty walks in the woods <laughs> will take the time to find the places that I host that content. So I hope that answers your question. If you are still watching this, looking at my sweaty face, oh God, this video was such a bad idea. Thanks for watching. Good luck in solo queue. Have a wonderful day. <sighs>